can the intrinsic connection between Islam and politics allow for a secular Turkey? And what does secularism therefore mean in this context? In order to answer that question, actually, we have to be considering the historical path from the Ottoman times to the Republic. Uh, starting from the mid-19th century, apparently the state apparatus in the Ottoman body uh, preferred to have a, a project which may be considered as a modernization project. Uh, well, we can say that it's a uh, it's adopting the Western model as well. Uh, the interesting thing is, actually, uh, the difference between the Ottoman modernization project and the uh, Republican one is uh, the uh, former tries to uh, better the uh, superstructure uh, whereas the uh, Republican one uh, continues that, there is no rupture there, but on the other hand also tries to uh, modernize the social body as well, not only the political. So in order to do that, uh, all sorts of legal, uh, legal uh, reforms, bureaucratic reforms, etc., takes place. So uh, here, uh, especially taking... Uh, a secular uh, notion of a legal system is the key. So actually, uh, it allows a, a system of freedoms for uh, every uh, actor in the system, uh, including the believers, uh, non-believers, Muslim, non-Muslim, etc. So in that context, secularity is the uh, or actually the way the uh, Republican elite preferred to have it uh, as laicism, which is the control of religion uh, in a sense uh, by the state, uh, is the key uh, to a uh, free system. And what do you think the current protests mean for secularism in Turkey? It's a, a process of democratization. Uh, I believe that in a society it's the uh, socio-political uh, development that uh, stabilizes the concepts that, are, uh, that take place in the system. Uh, the changes starting from the mid-19th century actually is coming to a point, I believe, uh, where uh, a more democratic system actually uh, get, uh, gets to be stabilized. Should the organic development of secularism after its abrupt introduction in the Kemalist revolution be seen as an inspiration by other societies? Uh, inspiration, yes. From time to time we hear the word model. I don't think that any body, any uh, political body can be a model for another because all the uh, political bodies have their own uh, socio political and historical backgrounds. So each and every society has to develop, uh, uh, develop one of its own. So, yes, it may be a con inspiration, but not a model at all.